Let's go, hurry up. I want Kalan over here. Let's go. Right here. Hawaii, go to Hawaii right here, baby. Hold on, hold on. Hi, my mom. All your hard work and dedication and devotion has not gone unnoticed so congratulations you have been offered a full scholarship he grind if you have a dream never give up always chasing if you have a goal just set your eyes to that and just never give up Thank you, Mom, for everything you've done. Everything's for you, and I love you, Mom. Thank you. I'm excited to award you a scholarship to the yeah! He deserves it in every freaking way possible. Every way! Yeah! This 53-yarder was for a full ride. And then there's third stringer Justin Juneman, who in four plus seasons has never attempted a kick for Minnesota, and probably never will. But he did make a great catch. It's one of my favorite days of the year. That moment when you see their face change, and then you see the entire team come in. That's a, that's a real reaction. You see burden being lifted from them. That's a lasting impression on not only the person receiving the scholarship, but the family of that person. Look what, what it says, and then this popped up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got to be kind. <laughs> and Montgomery didn't know that Chianti was on the brink of quitting the team. Only a night earlier, Chianti had told Tia his financial aid had run out, and he had no money left to pay for his senior year. I didn't know what to do. I was like, Mom, like, how, what, how, what am I going to do to get through this situation? If I have to work two or three jobs, and I've done that, I had already made up in my mind I was going to go to the bank that day and put my car up for collateral. We were about to lose Keontae, and none of us knew it. How we doing? You have such a fantastic son. We couldn't do a lot, but you're local. Yes. And we were able to get out and say happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Keontae, guess what? I just got presented with the best Mother's Day gift ever. You're on a full scholarship for ECU, and your name and number is on this letter. I cried. <laughs> I cried about five, ten minutes. Dreams do come true. How do you explain that outside of just a, just a miracle that's bigger than anyone here? We're standing here outside of Walmart here on the west side of Stillwater, Oklahoma. And we're going to go in and tell D. Mitchell uh, that he's going to be on scholarship. A well-deserved and hard-earned opportunity for him. It's three years ago today that uh, he came and tried out for our team. Today we feel like we can pay back to him what he's given us for the last two plus years. So I'm excited about it. He's done so much for our program. I thought today was a great opportunity three years later to let him know that he's going to be on scholarship. Uh, <laughs> Nobody has exemplify what I want our program to mean more than you have, all right? You've worked your butt off, you've never complained, you show up early, you stay late, and to do what you did for this semester, to sacrifice and continue to come around, thank you to the wonderful people here for allowing us to do this, but uh, you earned this, man, and so I'm glad that you're with our program and look forward to continuing to work with you, so. Hey, man. <laughs> It meant everything to see my mom. Man, I didn't know what was going on. It's a real surprise, man. I just breathtaking. I thought I was in a movie or something. I really admire Coach Mike, and I look up to him, and I, I plan to be someone like him uh, in the future and hopefully touch people the way he touched me. I was homeless. I uh, stayed in the, the field at uh, my old high school. I was, I was like a legit bum. And I had a pillow. 
had a pillow, had a blanket. He also had a plan. Enroll at hometown UNLV, work two jobs, including the graveyard shift at a casino to pay for UNLV, and become a walk-on. Why didn't you give up? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't know how to. His reward? Well, it was magical. Got one of my most difficult stunts to perform for you right now. This is a straight jacket, uh, but I need some help from somebody, and I need somebody big. Is that, is that your name, Aziz? Yeah, gonna... yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Farrell. Uh, here, come over here. <laughs> one, two, three. One more thing for you. I know this is really creepy right now, but this is Las Vegas. Right, and I got something gonna, for you. I got something for you. No? Oh, no, no. No! <laughs> I had the golden ticket, you know? And after that moment, like, everything everything changed. It's like, I'm 345, you know? It's like 100 pounds got lifted off of me, you know? What did you do with that scholarship letter? It's like I wake up every day and I see it, you know, hung up. Those words are, are always gonna mean something, you know? Hey, uh, how late you work last Huh? We got off at 11 last night from working at BW3s. Who else in here worked till 11 last night? Okay? John Garza, I see you. Okay? All right, but nobody else, right? Nobody else. Okay? Because the rest of you guys are on scholarship, right? But he's got a smile on his face. He's paying for school, guys, but he's happy to be here. Okay? okay? And today, okay, retroactive, okay, both these guys are going on scholarship. Yeah!